Hey everyone, Coach Jenna here. I actually am going to do a little demonstration on how to cut a pineapple. I have struggled with this and I think I have mastered it, so I wanted to share. Um, so, just to kind of go over, first off, picking a pineapple. Um, I learned that when you're at the grocery store, you don't know which one to get. If it's green, if it's you know still that yellowy brown, um, here's a little trick that I do that I learned. If you pull off a stem and it comes off easily, it's ready. Um, so sometimes if I am not ready to um, cut it as soon as I get home, I'll get one that's a little harder to pull off the stem or also that's a little brown. Um, okay, so. What we need um, are some Tupperware, obviously for storing. Um, I do food, food prep, meal prep. Um, so as I cut, I'll put them into the containers. Um, if you want to put it into one big Tupperware, up to you. Um, obviously a knife, the pineapple, and a cutting board. So I'm going to, I don't have much workspace. So I'm going to kind of go like this and, okay, this looks pretty good. So first thing is first, getting off the top and the bottom, okay? So let's start like this. Go ahead and just cut off the top. This is just for the discard. Same thing with the bottom. Go ahead and just slice off the bottom. And next, you'll have something that looks like this. Next, we're gonna get off, um, cut off all the skin, okay? So I kind of try to cut in a curved motion. So just all the way around. Try to cut as close to the pineapple as possible. Obviously you're getting more pineapple. And just keep going all the way around. Perfect. So as you can see, there's a couple little spots, little corners. I'm just going to kind of shave off. like I waited a little too long, so I'm just going to cut that little bit off too. <laughs> All right, so now we have a naked pineapple. Kind of clean off the cutting board. Okay, so from here, I'll just kind of plop it on one side, okay? And then depending how thick that you want your chunks to be at the end, sorry, you can't see me, <laughs> um, go ahead and I like mine to be smaller little chunks, okay? So I'm gonna cut a little, like about a half of an inch, little slabs. And I'll just do that all the way down until they're all sliced. Okay? So now we have pineapple um, slivers, however you want to call them. I um, Maybe if you want to make a punch or if you're using them for your shakes or anything like that, um, you could keep them like this. It's up to you. I usually eat them for a morning snack, so I'm going to cut them actually into cubes. So I'll take a couple of the chunks, not too thick because you don't want them falling um, and make it dangerous for yourself if they're moving as you're cutting them. Um, so I'll take a couple. I have two right here. I'm just going to start to cut them into longer slivers. Okay. And then I'll bring it back together and I'll cut into chunks, into little cubes. Perfect. Look at that. So since my cutting board and workspace isn't the biggest, I am going to go ahead and just go ahead and put them in 
the Tupperware. If you want, here is where you could measure them out using your 21 day fix Tupperwares. Actually, I'll just do that too because I typically visually know how much um, by my Tupperware sizes, but I'll go ahead and measure them out in the 21 day fix containers first, okay? And then just put them into the Tupperware so I'm ready for work. And just grab and go. All right, so here's one. Now, usually have two fruit in the morning. Um, on my Body Beast plan, that's the program I'm currently doing, I get five fruits a day currently. In a couple weeks, I think we're trimming down, so I'll have to recalculate all that. But right now, I'll have two fruits in the morning. There's two. So I will just continue. Just move this down a little bit. Continue cutting and putting them in the Tupperware. And once you're done cutting all of the pineapple and putting them into your Tupperware, here is the finished product. Voila, cut and ready to go. Have a great day.